I started my period when I was about 14 and since then it has been painful on my period and like fallen and been like in so much pain and my friends been confused around me. For years I thought, I'm dramatic. <laughs> I got diagnosed with endometriosis in July 2023. So altogether from the day my symptoms started to the time that I was diagnosed took nine years, which is a really long time, especially when you're going through one or two weeks out of the month and a lot of pain and you're struggling to do basic activities. I was 14 when my pain really started on my period and like, fallen and been like in so much pain and my friends been confused around me thinking well well I've got it why, why is that not painful so for years I thought I'm dramatic <laughs> why am I so dramatic when time went on and I started seeing how other people are on their periods I went something is not right here the way I feel when I'm on my period is not normal and I was going to the doctors for a very long time but I've been on lots of different medications, different kinds of contraceptive pills, coils, injections, and then for pain relief, I've been on the menopause injections. I'm still currently on them just now, but with the heavy use of pain medication, more, absolutely more needs to be done and surgery is proven to be the best way in order to do that. And um, obviously I wanted to explore my options and I had a consultation with Zahid and it went really, really well and I felt instantly assured that I was in the right hands. So I just felt this was right. And as soon as I got here, it, everyone has just been amazing. And the time that I got it in, and already I feel so much better post-op, which is, I really thought I would struggle way more post-op, but I already feel so much better. Instantly, when I woke up, it was like that pain I'd been feeling because it was I was feeling it really severe for probably about eight months, and it was daily. That pain was instantly gone. My expectations of going into surgery was not I'm going to be cured forever. Even if I get a thirty percent reduction in pain, that is a win, and it is a lot to do with the surgeon's skill as well. So making sure that you feel safe with your surgeon and comfortable and you feel welcome and you're happy with their skill. I was really happy with Zaid's skill and since then I've felt so comfortable. Zaid so says that after surgery there's a 60% increased chance of conceiving after proper endometriosis surgery to remove it all which is really positive however there is still definitely women who that wouldn't be possible for. It really just depends on how it is, how it is inside, with your, especially with your ovaries, fallopian tubes. Dinat has helped me so much with the endometriosis journey. I really feel like from the surgery and everyone's skill and kindness and generosity, everyone has really got me on to this path of getting better. There's no doubt that there are hundreds of millions of women around the world that have endometriosis. As many as one in 10 women in any given population could have endometriosis. And there are hundreds of thousands of women in the UK currently waiting for their surgery on the really, really long waiting list. This can have a profound impact on anyone's quality of life. Chloe's case has taught us that the Natal Emirat is not only ready for the population of the United Arab Emirates, but we are also ready on a global scale. Not only do we have experts, surgeons that can handle the complexity of really complicated and advanced endometriosis, but we also have multidisciplinary surgery that includes colorectal surgeons and urologists at the same time, if required. So, if you think that you might have symptoms that are related to endometriosis, get in touch. And it doesn't matter if you are within the UAE or outside, because 
our doors are open for the rest of the world. Thank you.